Attention tonight to Amazon shoppers. Scammers are after your money and your identity, something one Columbus woman realized after she got a call that she believed to be from the online retailer, requesting her personal information. How it all went down, how she responded, and what an expert says you should do to protect yourself. Jennifer Bullock has all of that in tonight's Better Call 4. It was a typical day for Margie Wheeler when she says she got an unexpected phone call. It was from a supposedly employee of, of Amazon, and they said um, that someone had charged $190 worth of Nike shirts to my account and $1,200 of, of something else. They didn't say what else. Wheeler says that employee asked if she authorized those purchases. I, I said definitely not. No, I, I don't approve it. But Wheeler says the representative kept her on the phone, claiming he needed some personal information in order to take care of those charges. He kept talking about um, wanting my social security number and I I gave him the last four digits and then I thought, oh, I shouldn't have done that. So Wheeler hung up. Because uh, I realized by then that it was bogus. Wheeler immediately called her bank to secure her finances and her identity. Then she called Better Call 4. And I called founder of my Amazon guy, Stephen Pope, who says this was a scam. They're building these scams out so that consumers are being taken advantage of that just don't know better, right? Like they'll call somebody up and say, hey, we saw this charge on your account. We, we, we think it's fraudulent, but we need access to your account to get to the bottom of this. I don't even think Amazon has your social security number, so why would they be asking you for it? Instead, Pope says you should be asking questions. Whenever somebody calls you and says there's a problem, first thing I would do is collect some information and say what kind of problem, and then give them no information whatsoever. Then take the information that you've collected and go directly to the source. Which is the real Amazon. Because Amazon's not going to call you. It's just not going to happen. The Pope says Wheeler responded the right way by hanging up and then contacting her bank. And once she realized what happened, she did that. But he says scam victims should take it one step further by reporting it to Amazon as well so they can spread the word to customers and cut down on fraud. And we're told that Wheeler is still receiving calls. She says she got another one just today.